Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to continue on looking at Zvezda kits. This time a Soviet headquarters, 1941 to 43 time period. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, very nice kit. Let's look at the artwork here on the cover. And then we'll see if the poses match what they're showing. They say it's a snap fit, no glue required, but you need to glue these. Especially if you're going to paint them up, use them in a diorama or in a war game situation. Let's look at the back, and then we'll look at the instructions, and then we'll look at the sprues. There we go there. this. There you go. Got it in English. Showing you how you put the little parts in generically here. And then on the back is the specific one for this. Sometimes you want to put them on the little bases separately, and others you want to group them together. This one you might want to group together. Although the guy with the wire roll could be uh, farther away. And let's look at the sprue. Both sides. They do give you one, that group base, but they also give you uh, the other bases. Let's look at this figure. As always, they don't really have any flash on them. Very well done. You can see a, a strap and it looks like a medal on his chest there. And he's holding binoculars. Lots of nice folds. There's some texture on the ground. There's the soldier there kneeling down. He's got the radio phone. Got a rifle on his back. Let's see if we can turn it keep it this side but turn it this way and this is the one with the the wire the wire is kind of neat because it's in sort of a box and you can see the round spool of wire on there got a lot of pouches around his waist nice helmet rifle another the commander there looks like he's got a machine gun and he's got a pistol and a holster there Very well done. Pointing, that's always a sign of a commander, isn't it, when they're pointing? <laughs> Let's take a look here. You can see the little texture on the individual bases and the little footprints. If you want to separate them, like I said, you might want to have two or three of these together and then separate the guy with the wire, have him a little farther off something. There's some more of the bases there. Look at that nice fold in the back there on his back as it tucks into the belt. More of the gun. So most of all of this, it isn't building it. It's uh, how you paint it and then how you uh, put it on there. Usually I use their bases and then expand on that onto a cardboard base and then use my paint and then different glue down different terrain and tufts and so forth for greenery and bushes and stuff. There you can see a little bit of his face and his nose, his ears. Very nice. Back of the radio, phone. Very nice kit. I have a lot more to do in the future weeks, and I've already done a lot, so you can look those up if you want to look on my channel to see more of the kits and the Vesta. And I've done some where they're already completely made and see how I've done them up that way. Yeah, you might have these guys too on the one big base and then do something separate for these guys. All right, until next time, more World War II 172 scale. Thank you for watching, everyone.